Welcome to Canada. Making this video is a lot harder than it seems. This is a replication of them of Archer Quinn's wheel. And right now you're looking at the Canadian symbol for welcome. So let's go. This is what we have been working on this weekend. This is a little test unit to show the magnetic arrays of Archer Quinn and the problems that I've been having this weekend are breaking the wall. The wall is here and the wall is here depending on which way you're going. There's a wall at the end of the magnetic array. The magnets that are driving the rotor which only have a magnet on one end and an empty holder on the other end. 38 by 78, Neo, 35 pound pull, and 38 by half inch, three quarter, half inch, three quarter, uh, Neo, 50 pound pull. Together, you gotta watch your fingers. They make one magnet that slides into the end like that. So, he's already in there. This is the load we're going to carry around the track. And what we're going to do is try and gain enough momentum going around, come down here and break the wall. And the wall is a pretty good wall. Pretty tough. Like a light push. Ugh. No, like not that hard, but you got to push. So, I'm going to put a load on the end. Don't even. And we're going to gently push the rotor into the beginning of the array and then we're going to get stuck <laughs> let's try that again there we go this is the wall we're breaking and this is another second smaller magnetic array here which is basically inside the primary array and we're going to just push by the end of it and into the beginning of the other one and swing around, gain momentum, gravity, and break this wall that you can clearly see right here. Huh? It's like a, see, it takes a good push to get through it. But once you're through, you're back in a, another zone here between the two. So let's show it again here. Push into the primary array, carries around, gains momentum, breaks the wall. Now, what this wheel is not doing, basically, we need to go the other way. We need to go up here, come around, break the wall, and do the fall. So, the fall takes us back into the start of the array. The reason the board is like this, it's just like this is how I landed at the end of what it was doing for the last 24 hours. And I wanted to show this effect of the wall. So push into the start of the array, swing around, break the wall. Into the start, swing around, break the wall. Unfortunately, we don't gain enough momentum to break the second wall and restart in the array, but if we can get this going the other way, around here, back up and over, and break the wall here, falling down, then we will have a restart on the rotor. The black stuff that some of you may be wondering what is at the end of each section of the array, the primary array, is called isotropic ferrite. Basically, isotropic ferrite doesn't remember that it's magnetized. It becomes a magnet when it's in the field. It becomes part of the field. And then as soon as the field moves on, it becomes non-magnetic instantly. So it plays a role in weakening the end of the array and lengthening the beginning of the start. So that's where we are. Next video, I don't know, next few days. See ya.